Hello, my name is Ravi Mishra. I'm technical marketing engineer with Cisco in Computing System Product Group. This video is part of UCS Advantage series and today I'm going to talk about how you can manage servers at remote sites in the branch office with Cisco UCS Mini. With Cisco UCS Mini, the Cisco Unified Computing System originally designed for the data center is now optimized for branch office and remote office, point of sale and smaller IT environments. Cisco UCS Mini delivers server storage and 10 gig networking in an easy to deploy compact form factor. Expandable to 15 server, UCS Mini provides a scalable solution with management simplicity of Cisco UCS Manager. If you have more than one site, you can use Cisco UCS Central Software, which provides multi-site remote management. With UCS Central updating 100 sites, it's as easy as updating one site. Let's look at the Fabric Interconnect for UCS Mini. It's an IU module form factor, which goes inside the chassis. Fabric Interconnect 6324 is a low latency cut through 10 gigabit Ethernet, FCOE and fiber channel switch offering four 10 gig unified ports and one 40 gig scalability port. Unified ports can be either used as uplink ports for storage and network or you can connect C-Series rack server directly to it. Both fiber channel and fiber channel over ethernet storage ports are supported on unified ports. 40 gig scalability ports are used to connect FCOE storage or C-series rack server with 4x10 breakout cable. Both unified port and scalability ports can also be used as appliance ports to connect storage and other network appliances directly. This is how UCS Mini looks like from UCS Manager Hybrid Display. It looks very similar to UCS Classic with two top-of-the-rack fabric interconnects. The fabric interconnect and I.O. module are combined as FI I.O. module in UCS Mini. Just like UCS Classic FI, you can configure the mode of the unified ports from here. You can change a port from uplink port to a server port and vice versa. You can also change the unified port from ethernet to fiber channel. If you want to use them as fiber channel ports, you can move the slider to the right and ports on the left with purple color will be fiber channel. This will require reboot of the FI module. This is the view of chassis where you can use same UCS plates like P200M3, which you use in the data center. The UCS mini chassis was modified with some backplane enhancement to support fabric interconnect inside the chassis. Also, dual voltage power supply with 100 to 240 volt AC and 48 volt DC was introduced so that you can easily deploy UCS mini globally in remote branches with various voltage requirements. This is how the different components of UCS Mini and UCS Classic after the modified chassis and new power supply. In case of UCS Mini, you ordered the UCS Mini FI and new power supply either at 100 to 120 volt or 200 to 240 volt. In case of UCS, you order fabric interconnect, IO module, new power supply and modified chassis. UCS Mini fabric interconnect supports a wide variety of 10 gig Ethernet connectivity options using Cisco 10G base SFP plus module. In addition, the four SFP plus uplink port support one gig Ethernet connectivity option using 1G base SFP modules. Alternatively, two, four, eight gig fiber channel SFP plus interfaces are also supported. Queued SFP plus ports provides connectivity for up to four Cisco UCS rack server. Let's talk about storage connectivity option in UCS Mini. The first option is to connect your storage, uh, which is based on the IP. In this case, your storage is connected to the LAN switch 
and the LAN switch is connected to UCS Mini FI. You can also have port channel between UCS Mini FI and your LAN switch. The second option is the direct attach storage. In this case, the storage, either FC, FCOE, NAS, or iSCSI, is connected directly to the UCS Mini FI. The third topology is SAN storage, um, which is not the typical use case for the branch office and the remote office, but maybe for a very small data center where your um, SAN storage is connected to uh, switches like Cisco MDS and Cisco MDS switch is connected to UCS Mini FI and your LAN uh, switch is also connected to the UCS Mini FI both as a storage uplink port and as a network uplink port. You can only use the unified port for as an uplink port, you cannot use scalability port for storage uplink. Let's look at the UCS Mini management options. You can manage single UCS Mini solution, both UCS Mini chassis with Blade server and rack server using UCS Manager. Cisco UCS Manager provides unified embedded management of all software and hardware component in a UCS Mini solution. You can use firmware auto install from UCS Manager to upgrade firmware of UCS Mini infrastructure. This firmware install can be easily scheduled for upgrade during the weekend or during nights. Host firmware policy allow automatic firmware upgrade of all servers the moment they get associated with a service profile. To manage both UCS in the data center and UCS Mini in the branch, UCS Central can be used. UCS Central manage multiple globally distributed Cisco UCS and UCS Mini domain from a single console. UCS Central integrates with UCS Manager to provide global configuration for all server, aggregates inventory and fault information across multiple UCS and UCS Mini domain. One of the example is firmware upgrade where UCS Central upgrades firmware of UCS Mini and UCS Classic using service profile in all locations, either it's a data center or small branch. You can use global service profile in UCS Central to have same BIOS policy across multiple geography for a particular application and like that. To recap, we just saw another Cisco UCS advantage where Cisco UCS Mini provides total computing solution that delivers enterprise scale in a small efficient form factor for your small or medium sized business or for the edge of your large IT environment. Thanks for watching this video and please go to www.cisco.com slash go slash UCS to know more about Cisco UCS Mini.